Hello and welcome to Webdom Mentors YouTube channel and we are watching Learning Bootstrap series. So this video is about adding optional icons that is the glyph icons to your form elements that is the input fields during the form validation. So in the last video we have seen about how to add form validation classes to your input field using jQuery and JavaScript. So in this field we are going to advance it by adding glyph icon icons to your input fields by using jQuery and JavaScript by doing the form validation to your forms. So in order to add a glyph icon icon in the last video we have seen just copy this and paste it I'm going to do it again just to make sure that people don't forget it because we have to paste it we also have to add one more class to here has feedback but I'm not doing it just to show you how it will look you can see that the glyph icon icon is added after this input field so if you want this glyph icon icon to be inside you have to add the has feedback class and you can also see that the glyph icon icon is in black in color that is actually the color of the text or the font color that we are using in this input field so based on the class used in here that is a has error or has success or has warning that glyph icon icon's color will be applied so now i'm going to add the has feedback just to show you how it will look before we get on to the actual part of validating the form so now you can see that glyph icon icon is moved into the input field and this is actually how you add the glyph icon icons but i don't want to add it just by adding the code in my html i want this to be added on the go or dynamically using my javascript or jquery so how to do that well it's a little bit difficult or advanced process i'm going to clearly explain you how to do that and we're going to remove all those things from here first and this is the place where we are going to add all those classes for the first that is the if statement when cleared or is it true we have to add the error and also the cross sign you can see that in here we have to add this icon to our input field and if it is else that is the part where the input has been given we have to add this tick mark that is the glyph icon ok so what we're going to do is that we're going to copy this and we have to use it in here I have to append it to my div class that is the div that we have already taken I'm going to append this I'm going to use the single codes because of the reason that we are having the double codes for the classes in here but again I'm not adding the ID but we need the ID I'm just going to show you why we need the ID after I've completely included this so we have included this now we will be seeing that in implementation form so I'm going to press enter submit it can see that the red color I'm going to press something I'm going to add it you can see that well I have forgotten to add the has feedback class so I have to add the class has feedback so now when I refresh the page and when I type something and submit it you can see that the tick mark but I also want the styling to be given so I'm going to add the has sorry success yeah it's working fine so we have to add the cross sign in here I have to use the div dot append in here as well and put the it's going to be remove and I'm going to refresh the page and test it out now I'm going to submit it but now has feedback is not added so I have to use that it's a little bit fast so I haven't uh, noticed it my fault of course that's the reason why we test it out so now you can see that the cross sign is added but now when I add the text in here you'll be seeing this problem in here we have both the icons inside this the cross sign and also the tick sign I want only one so for that I have to remove that glyph icon from my input field but we cannot just remove it as we have done in the remove class wait we have to remove it by specifically finding out this plant class for that I have to give an ID to this so for that I'm going to give cliff cn and I'm going to add the ID in here well of course this is wrong I'm just going to do this and we have added the ID now this is going to work of course I have to add it to here as well and 
Now, I want to make sure it works fine because I have to actually find this and also remove it for both the conditions for both the true and also the false condition. So for that I'm going to use the jQuery dot remove function and then here I'm going to give the ID of my cliff icon. So cliff en and I'm going to use the ID in here. So this is going to actually remove my cliff icon for both the cases before appending it of course we have to remove it and also I have to remove the classes at the error and here has success in case so this is to make sure that if my user or if the visitor of my website is actually changing the content of my input field it also has to check it again so that's the reason why I'm doing this so I'm going to refresh the page I'm going to submit it well, I think I have done something wrong in here. I just have to add the plus sign again. So this is the concatenation operator. We have used it in the last time as well. So now I'm going to go back, refresh my page. Sorry about this. Submit it. You can see that the cross sign and also the has the error class has been added. I'm going to add some text. Submit it. You can see that the has success class has been added. While we remove the has error class and also added the tick sign and remove the cross sign that is the cliff icon remove and added the cliff icon ok so now also we have to make sure that we remove the hash feedback but I'm adding it in the next line itself so for that I'm not removing the hash feedback in here but you can remove it and add it again in case you are having something different in your mind so this is how you actually add and remove the cliff icon icon uh, from your input field on form validation by using the jQuery and JavaScript. So we can test it out in all the fields, of course. Now you can see that. And I'm entering in here and you can see that. And finally, my form has been submitted perfectly. So this is how you do it. And I hope this video is very useful for you. And if you find this video useful, please like this video, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. And also, please leave a comment on what you think about this video. And if you have any kind of doubts, issues, problems, or having difficulty in implementing this, please leave a comment in the comment section of the video or in our Facebook or Twitter feed. We will try to help as much as possible. And also, if you have any kind of feedback, suggestions, or if you think we have to do something in order to improve ourselves, please let us know in the comment section or in our Facebook or Twitter feed or even in the Google Plus page. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.